Hi there. My name is Mars. This is my channel, We Gay. Welcome back to another episode of Zen. Or Yags. <sighs> it is Saturday, December 2nd, 2006. You don't see the date there, but... Um, I remember what it said earlier. Um, so let's, let's get into it. This is us right here. God, why, why do I get so, like, confused? I, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to point to Carlos. Slash me, slash us. I'll just, okay, okay. Anyways, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, I pause outside the door to Chris and Adam's room, collecting my thoughts before knocking. Shit. Got to click in this window. Here we go. There's some muffled- look at the hairy arm! There's some muffled sounds inside the room, and Chris opens the door, blinking at me sleepily. Hey, Chris. <laughs> he steps aside, and I slide 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 past him. Adam turns over in his bed, covering his face with his pillow. Mars, dude, it's too early for breakfast. Or running. I take a deep breath, refusing to let myself back out now. Actually, I was, um, curious about Q&A and wanted to see if you'd go with me, Chris. Adam pushes the pillow aside and looks at me sleepily. That's a good idea, actually. Chris had to drag me along when he wanted to go the first time. So wait a minute. Is Chris... Us? From the first... And that's why he doesn't talk. This person is us, right? From the first game. Because that's what happened in the first game. We drag Adam. We're... Oh. Okay. I almost laughed at the... Th laugh at the thought, thinking how awkward Adam must have felt. And that's why he's so quiet, because... He didn't do a whole lot of talking when we played as him in the first game. Interesting. That's interesting. Interesting. I just missed what that said. Hold on. I laugh. I almost laugh at the thought thinking how awkward Adam must have felt. Okay. You've been to Q&A, Chico, as moral support, but yeah. Or... But we know, Chris. I thought we knew that he went to Q&A. Wow, this is getting, like, so meta. Anyways, <laughs> as moral support, but yeah. I look over at Chris, who nods slowly. Yeah, I could... I could do that. Thanks. I'll see you later today, Chico. I wait outside the door for Chris to change. He appears a few moments later. I put my bravest face, to, faced, face on and try to calm my nerves. Ready? Ha. <laughs> The smell of semen is in the air, wafting. My eye is turning green screened out because of the reflection on my glasses. I follow him as far as the student center hallway before my determination gives out, tugging at Chris's coat. He stops and looks at me. Why am I so scared, Chris? He pauses for what seems like an eternity, quiet and contemplative as always. I felt the same way my first time, but everyone is friendly. I nod, somehow not feeling really assured, but follow him into the room anyway. The room is full of people I recognize. Full of people. I recognize Dan and Liz from earlier, but feel frozen in place in the doorway. Christopher and Mars. Christopher and Mars. <laughs> she, he stands directly in front of her. <laughs> That's kind of funny. He comes over to us and gives us each a hug. A woman in a purple t-shirt, who seems to be in charge, smiles at Chris. Nice to see you again, Chris. Dan points to the couch where Liz is sitting. There's plenty of room over there. Come join us. It just occurred to me. Is... Not... <laughs> Why do I always try to point? The... Is Liz a trans woman? For some reason... Anyways, anyways, and I just, I just was like thinking just because of the, it didn't occur to me in the first game, but now looking at the illustration, not that that's, not that, 
I don't know. I don't want to like be problematic and saying, oh, this person looks trans in the way that like, oh, I found you out kind of way. I'm trans. I'm trans. And so it's not like that. It's just like, oh, like you look familiar because I am familiar with trans people and trans bodies, trans women, trans men. That's that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Um, anyways, anyways, Chris shrugs and walks toward a corner. I mutely follow him, trying to focus on his shoes, his back, anything but where I am, am at the moment. This was a mistake. I wonder idly if Dan was offended by us not taking up his offer and glance at his in his direction, but he seems to be distracted already, talking to another guy. Fuck this guy. Oh my god. Uh, the fucking actor. Chris ends up in the far corner next to a couch with a blonde man in a gray shirt sitting on it. Everyone likes to wear long jackets here. He nods at the two of us before returning to what looks like reading some papers. Chris's voice breaks me out of a trance. I keep getting distracted with text being on Dan's crotch. <laughs> uh, this is James. James, this is Mars. James nods at me again, but doesn't speak. Why are there two really quiet people here? Just kidding. Quiet people. I'm quiet. I mean, I'm currently not quiet right now because I'm trying to run a YouTube channel and... I mean, I guess you can be silent and... <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting so distracted. I'm very... I'm very... I think I think the heat in my room is baking my brain a little bit. I find myself staring at him and force my eyes away. No! Like that. They always say that. Force my eyes away. I love it. He's really attractive. Is she? That's Liz B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In the purple. She's in charge. She's dating Liz G, who you already met with Dan. And now they're doing the initials. Good, 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 good. Welcome, everyone, to the last meeting of the semester. I don't hear, or at least process much of what she says but it seems to be over quickly and most of the people in the room file out i'm startled back to reality when dan plops on the couch next to james grinning at me liz the non-leader one sits on the arm of the couch next to him you made it mars james shifts uncomfortably uh i guess liz the leader one walks over to the four of us and smiles at me Goodness, you still look absurdly, uh, <laughs> absolutely petrified. Reminds me of you, Chris. Babe. So Chris was us in the previous game. James stands and grabs his bag. Time to go. Only four more shows. Bye, James. Um, he hands me a piece of paper, and I somehow manage to take it, blushing as my hand brushes his. Let me know if you want to talk. Jameson has a crush. Not hitting on you. Not that I'd mind that. Just talking. He doesn't even like to talk. What? Is that what they're calling it nowadays? James shakes his head and I manage to stammer. Manage to stammer out some thanks. That was fast. James walks out the door and Dan scoots over close to me. So you could uh, talk to James. Or the two of us could have some um, intimate... Ahem conversation what do you think i was gonna say liz uh-huh the two of you can talk in here all you want but take your conversation somewhere else buddy so it is trustful you should see someone about that liz i should get going as well actually i should get going as well actually study group to make liz g hugs chris dan and me bye chris dan mars seriously though mars no sex in here Okay, gosh. <laughs> I need some water. My eyes follow them to the door, and I start to get nervous again. Dan is a little overwhelming. He's just horny. So horny. Um, I should probably go, too. Sure. Seriously, though, let me know if you want to talk. Or, uh, talk. I'm feeling myself blush again and stammer out a goodbye before heading back into the hallway. I almost said alleyway. <laughs> Where are we? I stand in the hallway for a bit, piece of paper clutched in my hand and trying to regain my bearings. 
Why was that so terrifying? Nothing went wrong. Everyone was friendly. Maybe too friendly in some cases. Oh, excuse me. I uncrumple the sheet of paper and read it. It seems to contain an instant messenger screen name. <laughs> I like acting. That's not a good screen name. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to burn. I tried to burn him. I tried to burn James, but it didn't. It, it didn't work that time. I guess I should create an account. Would be good for talking more directly with Elliot, anyway. Heading back to the frat house. In my room. Oh, we're staying in the frat still. Oh, wow. I spot some familiar people in the student center atrium. Oh, the dorks! The dorks! One of them, Hannah, spots me and waves. I make my way, making my way down to make my way over to their table where it looks like a board game is set out. Hi, Mars. You remember Nikhil, Jake, Nate? I do. And if I remember correctly, Jake and Nate, Jake, Jake and Nate, these two, these two, these, the, <laughs> I can't, I can't do the pointing. The two in the center are dating, and Hannah and, Nik Hannah and Nikhil are dating. Looks like you're playing a game. I'm gonna be third wheel? Third wheel, fourth wheel, fifth wheel. Fifth wheel. Looks like you're playing a game? We were just starting a game of Thern and Taxis, but if you'd like to join us, we can play something else. I haven't uh, played this game before anyway. I haven't played this game before anyway, so I wouldn't mind really. Figured we'd take advantage of us being a group of four. Uh, Chris wasn't up, I think, when we messaged him this morning. I think I should... Oh... Chris, yeah, Chris has to be the first. I'm just like, I, I keep going over in my head, like, that's just like really interesting that the character we were playing before we actually get to see what we look like, because he didn't get to see what we looked like in the first game. Anyways, I think I should be getting back to catch breakfast, but maybe next time. Thanks. I leave them to their game and head back to the frat house. Also, there's like a middle game that's like I forget what time it or what period it takes place, but I guess it was kind of like, you know, emo game 1.5. Did you ever play emo game? You know what I mean? There was like the first emo game, and then there was like the half one, or like the, the president one or something, and then there was like emo game 2.0 or something. Anyways, I wonder if that's still up. Maybe I should do a playthrough of it. No, god, it, I, it's so problematic. I mean, the first time I ever heard the phrase skull fucking was from Emo Game when Chris Caraba. I think it's Chris Caraba skull fucking, but like a literal skull. Never mind. <laughs> Just, you can Google that. Don't Google Two Girls, One Cup, though. You did it earlier. You didn't. You. Never mind. You, Oh, you're sick. You're sick. <laughs> I leave them to their game and head back to the frat house. I walk into the house, dining room, the house's dining room, and spot Adam sitting alone in the otherwise empty room with a plate of food. Good morning, sleepyhead. Hey, dude. How was Ke- Uh... Your meeting. I grab the chair next to him and shrug. My shoulder's kind of hurting. I went to the gym this morning and hurt the fuck out of my shoulder. Just kind of... What was I doing? This? <laughs> I was doing a this. I was doing a little bit of this. And so, shoulder. I kind of overworked my shoulder a little bit. Okay, I guess. Dude. I was just nervous the whole time. Well, then you're probably a lot like Chris his first time. He puts his hand on my back and rubs it reassuringly. At least it was a good step to take, right? Uh, I guess. I finger. Name of the episode. <laughs> I finger the slip. Oh, that's the name of the episode. I finger the slip of paper in my pocket, somehow finding it reassuring. I'm gonna get fucking in trouble if I name that. If that's the name of the episode, I finger the slip. Oh no, no. Go grab some food, dude. There's some eggs and bacon left. Although I really wish they'd have some more vegetables at breakfast time. Hey, Steve, one of the leaders of the fraternity, slides into a chair next to Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, Steve. Adam and Steve. 
<laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's funny. Adam and Steve, not Adam and... I mean, it's Adam and... It's Adam and Steve, not Adam and Eve. <laughs> Except the other way is how awful people say it. Um, I quickly excuse myself to the buffet, eager to avoid yet another conversation about Adam... Um, how Adam needs to spend more time at the house. I need a sip. So that's the story of my first Q&A visit. It, uh, could have gone better. I never did get the courage to message James, although it pro probably wouldn't have been a good idea. It probably would have been a good idea to. I guess this entire gay thing still has me feeling nervous. Even if I'm technically out now- <laughs> Oh my god, my fucking light almost crashed on my fucking head. At least to some people. Hold on, I have to fix- why- why- why? Why is this happening right now? Okay, that <laughs> thing- that- yeah. I would have left that in if it fell and hit me in the head. Believe me. Besides, it wasn't long after that when classes ended, and I flew with Adam to his parents' house in California for the break. Which I guess is where we'll pick up now. Saturday, 13- June- <laughs> <laughs> January 13th. Ooh, I missed what it said up in the corner. Hold on. Two thousand seven. It said something in the top left corner. I missed it. Uh, oh my god. Why am I having so many mishaps? Adam and I get off the airport bus, walking into the snow-covered campus with icy air bites at my lungs. The fries are ketchup. If you don't know what that is, that's because you didn't watch the first season. I mean, the first playthrough. I mean, the f the first game. My playthrough of the first game. <laughs> Dude, it's freezing. Look at that facial hair shaved and his hair this way. Very interesting. You're the one that insisted we come back here. I would have been fine, just fine, staying in California. At my parents? I could have found a job there or something. Surf instructor? Adam laughs and slaps my back. Uh-huh. Anyway, want to go see what's cooking at the house tonight? I was going to go to the gum... <laughs> I was going to go to the gum to the gym, actually. Dude, we literally just got back. And I've been sitting on a plane all day. It's time to run. Well, you do you. I guess I should get my stuff back to my room anyway. Can you take my bag with you? Just for now? Adam shakes his head, but grabs my bag after I quickly pull my gym clothes out of it. I'll catch you afterwards at the house, then... At the house, then... At the house, then... There we go, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Adam heads back. How do I talk? Adam heads back to his room as I head to the student center gym. Or gum. The student center is deserted, which isn't actually too surprising given most people haven't returned yet. I recognize the desk attendant for the gym, Malik. Oh, hey, Mars. Hey, have a good Christmas break? Oh, wait, that was me. I guess. It was quiet here, and I was able to make a bunch more shifts without, without classes. Dude, why would you spend the break working? Well, money. Plus, I can't exactly go home. Too far? He laughs, seemingly in disbelief, probably because his family's homophobic. Honey, I'm surprised we haven't had this conversation before. My parents kicked me out when I came out to them. Came out? Wait, you're gay? Okay, we know. We know. Look, the hand on the hip, the pink scarf, the haircut. We know. I also think he was like, hey, Mars. We're going to say, oh, I'm sorry. He shrugs. There's a gnat and smiles at me. Thank you, sweetie. But it really wasn't surprising for me. At least I have a scholarship and loans, so it's just housing and food I have to cover. I'm surprised you didn't know, though. It's not exactly a secret. I, uh... Come out to him? I'm sorry about your family. What do you think? What do you think? We're gonna come out to him. The words stick in my throat and I stammer for a bit. Is Carlos going to actually be able to say it? 
He seems to interpret that as uncomfortableness with him and looks at me funny. Funny. Uh-oh. Before I can say anything else, he shrugs and holds out a fluffy white towel. In any case, here's your towel. Oh, no! I knew it was going to be something like that. It's going to backfire. <laughs> Please scan your ID card there because I'm sure you've forgotten this procedure over the past few weeks. The tension is broken and I grin. Or maybe it's fine. I don't know. It has been a while. I swipe my card and he nods at me as the computer beeps. Beep. Well, you're good to go. He clears his throat eh -ahem, as I put my card away. By the way, I'm working the desk, this desk Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings, and most of the day on weekends this semester. I wouldn't mind seeing more of you, honey. Oh! Maybe I'll see you here when I come to work out then. At least until the weather is nice enough to swim. I look forward to it. The gym is deserted. Oh, shit. Wait, wow. The Bosu ball looks real. The images on the board look real. This is interesting. I just bought a Bosu ball too, or a half ball for my ankle stability. Um, I'm gonna end the episode there actually, cause I wanna keep the, keep it, what am I trying to say? Keep it, keep the episodes a little more concise. Hopefully I can end them on more like cliffhanger type of stuff, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I should have left it. Ah, there was a cliffhanger just there. Ah, pfft, whatever. Okay, um, yes, thank you. Please let me know what you think so far of this game, of my playthrough of this game. Um, please stick around and keep watching. I am really, really trying to stick to a schedule of Mondays and Wednesday nights of uploading... I've been, I feel like I've done a decent job for the past few months of up uploading uh, a video every Monday and Wednesday, so look forward to that. I'm still going to keep doing my Baby Brock playthrough, you know, because you, you get bored if you're playing the same game all the time. I get bored. Some people don't. I know somebody who's playing Zelda constantly, they put in like whatever <laughs> I'm just making fun of her I don't think she's ever gonna see this at all <clears throat> you know who you are um, but yeah so hopefully it will be every Monday and Wednesday and then sprinkled throughout the weeks or throughout the month there will be some um, broccolini and maybe some others just like one-off kind of stuff too cuz I yeah I don't know I like to break it up a little bit and yes, thank you. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you to all my Patreons, patrons. I'm just gonna call y'all Patreons because that's the way I always want to say it. But people say patrons, but I wanna say that you're my Patreons. Um, thank you. And if you're not a Patreon, please consider uh, being a Patreon. I'm gonna call you a Patreon. That's just what I'm gonna say. Um, the link to all that stuff is down below in the description. I'm gonna put a link down to the playlist of the first game. This is just a, this is a sequel. This is a sequel. There's another game that um, comes before this that might help you um, understand a little bit of who's who and all that, but. Not completely necessary, but I think you should go back and watch it, or maybe go watch it simultaneously, or in between, when you're waiting for a new episode to come out, or this one, you go watch the other one, you know what I mean? Okay, um... <laughs> I need to turn the air conditioner on. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Um, anyways. How many times do you want me to thank you? Okay, that's too many times. You can stop. You can you you can stop typing in the numbers right now. Um, that's gonna be it. All right, that's been episode two of Zags. We'll talk soon. Let's see what happens in the gym. Hopefully, some blowjobs. Bye. Even if I'm technically out now. Oh. oh, oh. Ah! 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 Ah!